Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, just a quick video today. I want to highlight some things uh, from uh, a guy commented, uh, or a gal, sorry, I don't really know, Skittles advertisement. Uh, if we look here on the screen, we can see this. I want to talk about when I, when I did that DOS program video. I'm very thankful for their comment because I'm old and behind the times as I switch from Mac to Linux in this process. So really just a quick one to talk about some things that I missed when I did this due to ancient history and me being used to doing things the way I do. Uh, it, you'll see as they, as they uh, comment here, uh, just so you know, the Linux Mint Software Center is actually the same as the regular repro, repos, uh, repositories, that apt is using. You only ran into an error because DOSIMU is only packaged for stretch, the Debian release. If you would have just done sudo apt install DOSBox, you wouldn't have had to use your software center to go find it and get it done. Um, it says, since DOSBox is packaged for Bullseye, the current Debian release. Um, and then he says, one more tip, or she, sorry. Uh, one more tip. Uh, apt get, while probably locked in your brain with habit nowadays, is really just meant for scripting uh, as apt has superseded it in all aspects. You can do sudo apt install package name and you will get some neat QOL features like progress bar. Uh, apt really is just a wrapper for apt get and apt cache, so it's not a huge deal. You could have done apt search DOSBox. This is the same as searching in the Linux Mint software repository and done apt show DOSBox to see its description. So that's pretty cool. So I got my terminal going up here. I'm gonna pull it down uh, to where we can see it and I'm gonna try some of this stuff real quick right because that's what I do I'm kind of nerdy that way so we could do a you know, you're gonna have to bear with me to put my password on the first time but sudo apt install or right, let's do search let's do search launchpad because I want to make a, a video about launchpad and installing kind of the main gaming uh, that we could do on this box the old time games that I'm used to. So if you look in his comment, app search DOSBox, and, and so I'm just gonna search for a different package. And then I'm gonna have to put my password in, which will take a half an hour. Just kidding. So look at that. We got LaunchPass Web Services, LaunchPad Integration for SBuild, LaunchPass Scope. Okay, I don't think this is probably the same LaunchPad that I'm looking for. Uh, which is good to know, but let's do his example and let's look for DOSBox. And there it found it, the X86 emulator with Tandy, Herc, CGA, EGA, SVGA graphic, graphics, sound, and DOS. Um, so yeah, it found that one pretty good. Uh, looks like we're not going to be able to do our install for Launchpad, but I think we'll do, we'll probably go see if we find a flat pack for that or something later on. Um, when we do that video, but I just wanted to do this quick update to, to kind of show the corrections and I appreciate you commenter so much. That's why I put these videos out here so I can learn too, uh, because I know a lot has changed since I've done this in the past, but, uh, just a, a small update on, on what I am seeing, uh, as I switch from my Mac over to my Linux machine. Um, Shotwell, I'm not sure about Shotwell, uh, to replace the photos app in Mac. Uh, I really would like some of your guys' feedback on that. Do you guys have any feedback on, on what kind of photo organizer is the best one out there? Uh, I may do some more research on that. I'm hoping you guys will comment, let me know that one, and, uh, and maybe get some more information and, and check a few others out. I, it's probably just my lack of knowledge on how to use Shotwell. Maybe I need to watch some more videos and see if I can, uh, can make something happen there, but uh, right now I'm, I'm I'm not seeing that transition is going to make it, but maybe it will. Um, we'll see. I'll we'll keep working on it. But yeah, if you have another recommendation besides Shotwell, let me know if there's something I should try. Also, I would love your recommendation on audio players. Um, I've tried the the one that's built into Linux Mint. Uh, what is that one called? Can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, but I've also tried Strawberry which I, I'm not sure if Strawberry is still being developed. Uh, anything you guys think about that as a recommendation for audio players and CD ripping and all that good stuff. So anyway, just a quick one today. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for commenting. Please like, share, all that good stuff. And uh, let's figure this thing out together.
We'll see you next time.